Hey everybody, it's the Trout and welcome to another episode of the Trout Show. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I take a revisit and go in the past to one of my videos that I shot, interviews that I did in the summer of 2022. With two sisters and a cousin before they were famous. Chapel Hart sat down with me and we talked about how they got started in the music industry, a little bit about their history playing in the music industry, and even how they got started singing together. But that was before they won the American Got Talent Gold ticket, went it to finish in the top five. And then now they're back on America's Got Talent in the semifinals. And that's before they played in the Grand Ole Opry and before they played in concerts all over America. This gives you a little insight about the ladies, how they got in the business, but more importantly, their personalities. They haven't changed in any. They still love performing and they still like talking to their fans. I can tell from a personal experience with them they love their fans. So I thought it'd be an opportunity, to, great opportunity to take this time to revisit Chapel Heart before they were famous from the summer of 2022. Sit back and enjoy it. That's next on The Trout Show. When I started reading your, your bio, and then I always check the internet for all the history of people. And it's interesting to me because the fact is that people always think when you come and you're all of a sudden kind of the hot talent that you just kind of showed up, mm -hmm. that you hadn't been right. working very hard. So I look at it and I said to myself, all right, here's the deal. Poplarville, Mississippi. I mean, who, which one of you wrote the script? We're going to grow up in a town of about 2,300. We're going to start singing. <laughs> Uh, my mom's going to say, find another job. Don't become a singer. I went through that too. Hey, right. And then we go, was it New Orleans where you're busking or doing your thing down there? That's and then, what, and then, so how did you all get together? I know you're, you're all related. Two of you really close and kind of close, but how did you decide? Did you, did you start in church is the question I always ask people. Uh, yes. I think the, I think church is a great place to start in and especially in our family so just kind of right off the bat our grandmother had 17 children and there's 108 cousins and so <laughs> we um so give him a second to take that in he's like agree. what <laughs> <laughs> somebody was like we're not just gonna skim over you got 108 cousins <laughs> and so um so there was always a ton of us but everything was revolved around music. I said a lot of people went to church on like Sundays and Wednesdays. We were literally there all the time. Seven days a week. Look, Baptist, there was, sounds there was, like Baptist to me. There yeah. you go. Yeah. You already yeah. know. I know. You already know. I've been there, so, done that. <laughs> so we it was church every day. And um and then even when we weren't at church, Tree uses the term, she said I didn't realize like I was living like a musical. Like being with our family was like living in a musical. Like if you had Christmas, it was revolved around music, birthdays, it was revolved around music. If it, it was, you know, a funeral, a music. divorce party, wedding, don't really matter. It, yes. Doesn't matter. You just got to have some songs. Gotcha. Yeah. Yes. And so it was just everything was always surrounded around and with music. And so, um, and that I think that's probably where, you know, the, the root of it all started. And then, so were you growing up, the sisters, you two, were you singing, were you singing in church or you just said, hey, I'm going to sing? How do you decide which parts you're going to sing? That's the question I always have. I mean, one of you had to sing high, had to sing that to do the harmony. Which one of you said, I'll just do the regular stuff? Well, I think, well, Dev and I, we, um, I think ours is a little, it was a little different. So my dad, our dad's a pastor and um, ah. he would, he would often, um, we would go places and we'd like all ride over there together. And then we'd get at church and he would say like, my daughter Danica is here. She's going to sing. I'm like you could have told me this in the car. Like I'd have had some prepared. And so I finally, so finally, I got to the place. I was like, "Look, I, it's it's Dev, and we got a younger brother, KJ." And I was like, "Look, if y'all gonna stay, y'all gonna work. If I'm gonna sing, y'all gonna sing." And so I was already singing the melodies. I was like, "You're taking the top, KJ. You take the bottom." And so now KJ was like five to six years old all, at the time. Literally. Like, oh wow! Wow. And she was the hardest vocal coach ever. Okay, like he was like six and like he's singing these six like six and ten years old and Danica has us singing like these full inspirational gospel choir songs and I was wasn't cutting like, no corners. Can like, we please just go to sleep? She's like, you can go to sleep after you get these notes. 
And I'm like, you know what? And so, <laughs> hence is how she became a soprano. <laughs> she thinks it's not. So that's and, how it um, happened. Yeah, no, and uh, Trees and Trees is super, super duper talented. So usually Trees sings the bottoms, but in the event that usually Dev sings lead, or we need like a, a a top top singer, so she either sings the very bottom or the very top, which is very oh, wow. you know. You got a good range strange. here, kiddo. Got a good range. Yeah, <clears throat> from the basement to the attic. <laughs> <laughs> do all the three of you write music, or do you kind of involved in it? So how does it come up with? I mean, I read about the Jolene song and all that stuff, but you, you obviously got to keep making music. Do you all kind of share an idea? Somebody says, I have an idea for a song and then you kind of put it together. How's that work? Um, yeah. um, well, there is no one particular method for us writing songs because okay. like, we all write, sometimes we'll write individually and like bring it together. And sometimes we'll like all sit down together and like create a song. But I feel like, especially when we write together, like it's kind of like this perfect balance. Cause like Dev, it's like the concept queen. She can take like a sentence and like have a full storyline uh, or a whole idea behind like just this one situation. Right. Danica like has this very almost creepy way of like just going in and grabbing your heart and like just ripping it out even when you're not expecting it. And then me, like, I just like words. It doesn't matter if it like needs to be tongue in cheek or, you know, like just the way to kind of like shape this phrase to like fit whatever you're going for. But it's kind of like a... It's kind of like a, it's like a little dream team, but there's no particular way. That well, it yeah, out. you're kind of living, kind of pinching yourself. I mean, you have to be getting up in the morning and go, really? We're going to be doing this today and tomorrow I'm in Nashville. <laughs> I mean, did any oh. of you, any of you, and I'm truthfully, I'm just asking, any of you actually predict that you'd be here? Did yeah. any of you, who was the dreamer? Any of you or all of you? Yeah. Well, I, think, I am and, and truly have been the dreamer since i was a, a kid a kid, a kid and i still am like pinch myself every morning crazy <clears throat> crazy we always talk about our uncle billy like so you know meeting billy gibbons and he has just taken truly taken us in like we're his nieces wait a minute and like you know you're talking just, about reverend billy gibbons he yes reverends, <laughs> the one the only <clears throat> I, I, have a, he, I have a story about him but go ahead go oh ahead. come on we gotta hear it look well no so he um he called us last night and was just like, hey, what y'all doing? And he's just like, it's so random, but it's like the real wow. Reverend Billy S. Gibbons so is calling weird. us. And, it, and like, we, you know, it just, it's one, it's like you said, it's just one of those moments. You, you, I didn't, I had never thought in all of my dreaming that I'd wake up and, you know what yeah, I mean? That then, Billy like, Gibbons would be calling you. And, checking in on you and asking you how you're doing Fixing you right? at three o'clock yeah like morning. five o'clock in the morning my i think i'm thinking my alarm is going off i'm like who made my alarm i think he's i think early? he's in europe right now and I, like, thought, I think well, i think that's where he, he is he was he was in canada but he's back in well, canada state. that's right he was in newfoundland because i thought yeah there's people in newfoundland <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right <laughs> Like the alarm went off or I thought it was the alarm and I'm sitting here complaining to my husband, just the moaning and complaining. It's like, why is this so early? I look at my phone and it's his picture. It's like, oh, well, that's Uncle Billy calling at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> but I'm like, he just called. He's like, hey, can hey, let the girls know when you gotta, it's like, oh, oh. Yeah, no, it just, it's like, it's really like having like just a rock star uncle and you're like, oh, what are you doing, what are you doing up this early or this late? Like. Billy's actually older than me. I can say that. That makes me feel better. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it's got to be interesting from a standpoint, like you said, you wake up and you're talking to these people. You deserve to be there. You wouldn't be there if you weren't. I mean, yeah. that's just the bottom line. Well, here's the question. Have you been recognized on the street yet? Has anybody stopped you and go, can I have your autograph? It's still so it's weird, weird to me. It's oh weird. my God, who's calling my name? <laughs> it's, um, especially, especially like, um, when I say home, I mean like home area, New Orleans, right, Mississippi, right. and yeah. people are like, "Oh my God, it's them!" You know, we were we were eating lunch, and oh, uh, there was like a we called they had to like the waitress had to like rock paper scissors who was going to take our table, and so <laughs> oh, like they were wow. she was just so, like super, and I mean like it's just super um super like just we're just honored, and um yeah. we tell people all the time we're in, and it's you know some people are like we hate to bother you, I'm like. The only reason that you can be like, you are the reason that you can bother us. Like, yeah, grab a picture. Like, no, not all the time do we look good, but nevertheless, <laughs> like, you are more than welcome to get the picture if you want. But I, you I know what? Here's, oh. no, go ahead, Dre. 
I was gonna say like we'd be places and you see people like with their phones like doing the little oh yeah and yeah. then when you just like, hey you want to take a picture there? here let me take a picture <laughs> of me interviewing you yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so but you know what here's going to happen to you get used to it ladies it's going to be a great ride for you i'm telling you i know it already and you got the talent to take you all the places you'll be getting called from people you won't even know and you're going who called me i mean just how weird is it that billy calls you I mean, of all the people, you know, I'd, I'd say more in line. I'd have more in line as somebody on the countryside calling you instead of Billy calling you. Right. Yeah. And we we just have truly it's amazing, though, because God has connected us to some folks that like a lot of people would go like, what? what? Like, you know what I mean? And like, or even being on tour with the Indigo Girls next next week. Yeah, it's I saw like, that. Like, what? Like, how? Yeah. How us? And um, we're just we're actually. Our friend John Rich said he was like, it's he said, Y'all are about to explode. Name he dropper. He was like, just oh what he's like, <laughs> he's a name dropper. Name oh, dropper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but my was, friend it John was the Rich. most right, old old friend. <laughs> you know, yeah. yeah, there you go. <laughs> but it was it was the most it was the it was so simple, but it was so profound. He was like, life's about to take off for y'all. He was like everything's going to start moving at like a hundred miles per hour. He was like, yeah. he said, remember this, enjoy the journey. He was like, you'll, he said, you'll get caught up and thinking of, okay, what's next? What's next? Yeah. What's, what's next? He was like, just enjoy the journey. Everything is going to come. He was the like, ride, the, the ride is here. That he was like, everything will come, but he was like, whatever you don't forget to take in the journey, the journey is let that be your focus. He was like, and you'll you'll take in so much more. You'll you'll have so many more memories. You'll you'll be able to enjoy it, you know, as the as if the ride slows down, you know what I mean? And and that was that was truly a moment because I think that a lot of times we do get in that mode. It's like go, 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 go. What can we do next? Where, yeah. where are we going? Where are we going? And we just, oh. you know, that was that was such simple but great advice. Enjoy the journey, focus on the journey and enjoy the journey. So tell me about your no, go ahead, David. Go ahead. I, was no. say, I think the only way for me to truly enjoy this journey is just punching oh. them in the face at least once a month. She's so mean. She <laughs> is just, so mean. Uh, I, I heard about, I remember you saying something like you didn't get nobody a, a Mother's Day gift. I remember saying the Mother's Day gift thing. I heard about that too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know why people think that is my mother. I am. But that has to be. And apparently, I didn't do a good job in the discipline department. So, because uh, <laughs> now she's trying to fight. Right. Mother's Day gift. Like, <laughs> strike three is coming. That's right. <laughs> what shall it be? 